And on the blue liner will be Brett Pesci and Brady Shea. Montreal starting up front with Jake Evans, Sean Monahan, and Josh Anderson. And here we go. The first overall pick in the 2022 draft. First ever Slovak taking number one. North Carolina trying to mount some offense. And Tara Vining, he'll get it to Ajo. Ajo. Get it right down the middle of the score! Burns staying red hot! And the Canes jump out to the quick lead. It's 1 0 Carolina. Frank Burns made a fabulous pass on the backhand defensively with a ton of pressure. Tara Vining gets to it, doesn't connect with Ajo, just on side. I'm sure Montreal is looking at that. And then he wires it. You got a stick in the lane from Svechnikov, too. This thing stands. Ajo's going to get another point. He just gets it to the net quickly, and Svechnikov gets it. I love what Burns did in his own end with pressure. And then Tara Vinen. As the Canes put the pressure on here. Maxim's able to skate this one out, then he'll have it lifted neatly. Good work now by Stahl, and he'll rip a shot that is handled by Primo. Canes keep it in. Good steal by Svechnikov. And he'll lay this one out for Slavin. Slavin, he'll drop it back. Ajo back to Slavin. Around the net, try for the one-timer, but failing to pull the trigger. Now back for Burns on front, now score! Yes, for Fast! On the porch and knocks it home. we talked about in the open. Ajo and Burns have been all over this thing. Slavin uses the back of the net. Foss misfires. Ajo wins a battle and then one betters himself instead of just deflecting it at the net. An intended pass to Jesper Faust. Then the breakdown in the interior. Then it occurred for the Montreal Canadiens. Burns gets his second point of the night. Ajo gets his second point of the night. Now he'd like to get on the score sheet tonight. Jaden Struble played his college hockey at Northeastern. He'll deliver this puck in the Kane's head and chasing after it. Montreal gets to it first. Back for Struble deflected out in front. Rebound, chance to score. Mitchell Stevens to the rebound. And he deposits it high under the crossbar. The initial shot Pesci blocked and he was stunned. He had lost his footing. Goes back to the front of the net. Looks like he wins the box out. Canadians get the puck to the net quickly. It hits Pesci. Ronta can't locate where that puck is going. Bunting's trying to go stick on puck. And a, a nice job on the backhand. Of, it helped that the puck was on edge with regards to elevation. See that development in Jack Drury's game. Getting back to the game. I had an afternoon with Motley Crue, but it didn't involve the stage. I We'll leave this as Orlov will carry this puck in for Carolina. A shot deflected up front. They score! Jack Drury getting to the front of the net. Jesper Faust throws it out front. Drury bangs it home, and Carolina gets their two-goal lead back. It's 3-1. Boy, we saw last night twice in the second period when Nashville scored goals, and now tonight, big response, even strength goals. This goes legally. Off of Jack Drury's skate, I believe. Maybe his knee, then down to his skate. Really good job from Orlov. Driving the middle, pushing the Montreal defense back. Marty St. Louis, I'm sure, is considering challenging this. But I don't, that puck is already in the crease. And once the puck. That exact thing, Trip. I've learned to, you know, never make, I mean, that's a penalty, technically speaking. Stick on the hands. It's got to be a contributing factor to this review. After video review, it's determined that there is goaltender interference on the play. No goal. His best save of the period. And so timely. Could change the complexion of the intermission if you finish these 10 seconds off. There's a roll to the side of the net. Stretch play, they'll score. Matheson went around the net. The defenseman snuck it past Ronta and... Jacob Slavin, and we're tied at two. He obviously, Auntie bit on the fact that a shot was going to come, and Matheson, a defenseman jumping in, has found a home in Montreal. That looks like it's just on side. It's close. And I, I would say in this case that Auntie overplayed.
Hurricanes with 61 points as a defenseman. And right now, and Tripp, you mentioned it, this was the time of year last year where he took his game to the next level. Burns with another pinch to keep it in. He'll get it to Faust. Just take a hit to make a play there from Gooley. Puck into the corner. Nason will do the same. And Gooley, they'll send it out in front. The score! Yes, for Faust! His second of the game, and the Canes jump out to a quick lead in the second period. What confidence can do for your hands after you get the first goal? Foss buries this after a clinical below the goal line for check from Nason and Jack Drury. I mean, absolute compete and support. Drury gets it, finishes, gets the support from Nason. They both deliver the goods. Big time with a capital B and a capital T below the goal line. Former Hurricane Mac patch ready to the Vegas Gold Knights. And now this puck's chipped out of the Kane zone. And Jarvis shot out of a cannon. We'll get to it. Puts a shot right on. Rebounds out there. Ronce is on his post. Now Dvorak to it. Now set out in front. Ronta makes the save on Gallagher. He just bailed out Coke and Yemi. Armia trying to work his way around Chatfield. He'll turn. That'll be deflected out in front. Ronta doesn't see it. Makes a rebound still there. Crashing the net is Dvorak. And somehow Ronta keeps it out. That's the four games we've looked at. But going one more further, this is the biggest five-game stretch for the Canes this year. Yeah, you finish off in Washington. Four or five on the road. Glove save there from Primo. And before last night... Yes, I called it, in my opinion, the most critical five-game segment of the season. And then you're going to have a ton of home cook in January. You're going to leave Raleigh once for a game in Boston. Once in, I think, five weeks. You know, I think if you get six points out of this five-game segment, that would be acceptable. You already have two. Now Martin gets a shot. He deflected away. Good look at Stahl over top. Exchanging with Jarvis. Back up top. Shea shot. He fans on it. Here comes Anderson. Anderson in on Ronta, holding. He squeaks it, and it'll get through. Well, turnabout for Montreal. They'd given up a goal in the first 90 seconds, 95 of the first and second. Now they scored 25 seconds here into the third. This than Brady Shea. Puck was flat. He just misfired. He caught it too much on the heel. And I thought Josh Anderson, who has been after not scoring in eons, and I might, I mean eons, has been scoring with regularity recently. That was the speed up the ice as Pesci was chasing him down that he had as a Columbus Blue Jack. And he opens up Ronta. Ronta gets a lot of it, but he isn't able to get enough of it. I wonder if, now you have a different type of... Send it across. Savard. He got it to Anderson, but that, just that far. And now the Canes springing Drury. Drury in! Pre with the save. Well, the Canes win the draw. Pesci, he gets it across and will score! Andre Svechnikov doesn't need a power play. He's got a power shot, and the Canes in the lead. And he does it with a purpose that prevents... Barron from getting over and making the play. You got to win the draw cleanly. Aho did. He's been winning a ton of draws, especially on the power play. Well, the Canes penalty kill tonight, three for four. That's been a big difference, especially here in the period. Now the power play with a chance to do the same. Nation's out in front. Chance was redirected by Nason. Backhand chance by Drury. And Primo was halfway out of his net, had to retreat back in. Now Jesper Faust with it. Getting it to Martinuk. Now Stahl. He'll chip one, and Martinuk will settle it down. Back out in front for Stahl. Primo with the save. Oh, Caden Primo's best save of the night there. Fabulous stop. Late in the hockey game with the lead. The Martinuk fought Stahl line reunited. Now Ajo has it knocked away. Matheson, Primo heads to the bench for the extra attacker. It's on the stick of Svechnikov. Takes aim for the hat trick. Bingo! on the power play. This would have, if it went for icing, given Montreal, with a decent amount of time left, when power plays and goaltending carried it last night, were they ever. 
Aho line, Drury line, Stall line. 